<laughs> hey, new buckaroos! Well, I'm having some issues today. Uh, so, hey, I'm having the uh, two out of three from, uh, well, this is the second of the three, I guess I should say, from the Four Hands uh, Stout Pack this year. Um, first one I had was a gingerbread. This one's the s'mores, and they have their regular, uh, their, their regular chocolate milk stout. Uh, but I thought I'd have this one, five and a half percent. You can really feel uh, the vanilla on the nose kind of mimicking the marshmallow. Uh, it just says spice ale with vanilla, uh, cocoa nibs, and spice. Uh, so I imagine they're using some sort of spice to, to try to get that graham cracker kind of feel. And you do feel it on the nose, actually, and then it has, you do kind of feel with that milk stout base. You, you know, it, it sort of mermaids the, the classic Hershey milk chocolate bar that you use uh, to make a s'more. Where my green shirt trying to be festive? I got a fake fireplace in the background <laughs> playing canned Christmas too. So there you go. For those of you that thought, Tom, you can't possibly get any cheesier. Well, there you go. I possibly can. So although I'm getting milk chocolate on the nose, right, uh, the flavors are, are more that of a dark chocolate. I'm going to say about a 60% dark on the flavor. Uh, and, and although I do feel some of that vanilla uh, and, and, and the spice, it actually feels more like a, a, a s'more on the aroma than it does the flavor. It feels just more like a spiced or flavored uh, a milk stout. I mean, I feel vanilla, I feel milk, uh, I feel the milk stout, I feel the vanilla, I feel some of the graham cracker maybe, uh, but it doesn't really come together like a s'more for me on the flavor, but it really does on the aroma. Uh, that being said, I mean, it tastes good. So, I mean, if you're not looking for it to taste exactly like a s'more, I think you're gonna be happy with it. I mean, it tastes, it gives you the flavors, but to me, it doesn't come together quite like a s'more. Uh, it is very nice though. Hey, yesterday I had one from Four Hands though that uh, just uh, knocked my socks off. It was their uh, Psycho Killer, um, a Belgian style triple aged in rye barrels. That thing just knocked my socks off. I gotta tell you, man. But it is a little chillier day to me. Uh, a little chillier day today is what I meant to say. Uh, so a, a beer like this does feel good. I mean, it, I hate the, I hate the, hate the, hate the, I hate the winter. I really do. I don't like being cold. I grew up in Southern California. I don't like to bundle up. I don't like to wear a lot of clothes. I don't like being cold. I really dislike the winter. However. I love the beers that come out this time of year. You know, these, these variations on, on a stout, or in this case, variations on a milk stout. You know, the various uh, whiskey barrel aged stuff, I just love. I just love the big, robust beers. I really, you know, that, that for me kind of salvages the time of year because I really hate the cold. But I mean, I love the festivity of Christmas. Um, and I just love, you know, I love the food that goes with it, obviously. And uh, I just love the beers that come out this time of year. Now, although I've been slow to come around to beers like this, because I do refer to them as novelty beers. Uh, and, and when I say that, some folks take that as as a negative. I, you know, I, I guess it can be. But it, what, what I typically mean by a novelty is when you're trying to recreate something. You're trying to make something taste like something else. You know, uh, for me, the, the the rogue voodoo donut, that is the, the uh, absolute epitome of a gimmick because they're trying to make a beer taste like a donut. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I understand what they're doing, but I'm not sure how you can argue that's a gimmick. And again, with this, they're trying to make, a, you know, kind of a holiday like, or uh, not necessarily a holiday, a s'more is kind of synonymous with, with campfire. So here I got a fireplace going. So, you know, a, a gimmick, a novelty isn't necessarily bad. I think if it's if it's done the right way. And, and beers like this, I mean, I have to admit that it has brought folks to craft beer that might not have necessarily gotten there 
with traditional beer. You know, when you, you offer folks that maybe aren't crazy about beer or maybe they're just macro drinkers, but you give them something like this and they kind of get their socks blown off, whether they really like it or not. Uh, Cause I've, you know, I've had folks go both directions with me. I give them a beer like this and they really like it or they really don't, but at least kind of opens their eyes to what beer can be. It's not just a, an adjunct laden, you know, macro or macro light. You can do so much with quality ingredients, whether you're making a traditional beer style or you're going way the heck out of the box with a beer like this. So there you go. So I'm gonna get back to my uh, canned Christmas music and my fake fire uh, because it makes me feel cozy, man. It soothes me. <laughs> it gets me in the holiday spirit, man. So there you go. Say, hey, I am Todd Beer Whisper. Who else would I be? Uh, this, this, this beer is, is worth buying. This set is worth buying. It runs about $21, $22, depending on where you're picking it up. comes with the three beers and a glass. So for, for three bombers and a glass for about $22, bucks, I do not think that's a bad deal. I am trying to beer whisper, and I approve this message.